Hi, my name is Angela Huffman. I'm an APQS dealer and an educator with the APQS Long Arms for Lifelong Learning Center. I want to show you a design today that can be used in a sashing space or in a border design. It just depends on how big you make it. And it's a good one to use if you don't want to do stitch in the ditch. If you want to do a border or a corner or a sashing design that kisses the ditch to give you a faux ditch so you don't have to take the time to actually stitch in the ditch. It's called Ribbon Candy Curl. The ribbon candy design is a really versatile one and you've probably tried it. It's just um, S curves that touch and the key is you want to make them kiss. So um, let's take a look. Let me go up here and do this in that first last one here. Um, so the key is if, if you see this one did not kiss. Okay, so then it looks a little more like an infinity line, um, but it's just a nicer look when the two passes actually touch and get really close together. So that's traditional ribbon candy and it fills up a narrow space. It's great, especially like a modern quilts or Christmas quilts or any kind of narrow sashing design. It's easy, fast, fun. Um, but the key is to make these, um, the ribbon candy touch. So let's dress up the ribbon candy just a little bit and we're gonna make a ribbon candy curl. So I'm gonna do the basic ribbon candy shape. But when I come down here to the bottom, I'm gonna put a little curl travel back and then make my ribbon candy. A little curl, travel back and make my little ribbon candy. And a curl, travel back and make my little ribbon candy. And it just, it puts like a little tail into the shape. And if when you're stitching this out, if it doesn't look quite right to you, what I find is that people don't tuck into that curl quite as deeply as they need to before they head back out to make the top of the of the uh, ribbon candy. So um, if you look at this curl kind of like the face of a clock, um, so we've come past three o'clock, we've gone past 12 o'clock, and I would even actually, okay, so take a look at this curl. See how it's not t tucked in quite as deeply as this last curl that I did? So the last curl that I did, it went past three o'clock, past 12 o'clock, and then tucked here into the face of the clock, into the nose of the clock. And to me, that's a prettier curl. It's not a hook, it's a curl. So let's just keep on going so you can see how the depth of that curl um, changes the look. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information about APQS machines, contact your local dealer or visit us at apqs.com. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new video is posted. And join us over on our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you're working on.